Good Friday evening, Southeast Texas. We're going to be watching a warm front move through the area coming up tomorrow. So I've increased the rain chances in the triangle to about a 30% coverage. It could be as much as a 40% coverage, just a 20% coverage in the lakes area. High temperatures in the lower 90s as the muggies come back on in. Maybe a reduction in rain chances coming up on Sunday. It's all due to this upper level disturbance moving through uh, the Texarkana, northern Louisiana area. That's going to help bring that front towards the north. So let's feel the muggies coming up uh, tonight and tomorrow. But again, weak high pressure over our area through the first half of next week. It's just not strong enough uh, to preclude seeing us showers and thunderstorms each afternoon early next week. We've got daytime heating on instability, moisture, no capping, weak high pressure. So Scattered shower, low wind scattered showers and thunderstorms expected each afternoon. In the tropics, we're watching things uh, certainly uh, heating up in the tropics, if you will. First disturbance has a low probability of development as it heads towards the Lesser Antilles maybe early next week. The second area, this is Invest 92L, and the good news is that the Hurricane Center has dropped their chances for uh, development. Still 60% probability that this is going to become a uh, depression or named storm within the next uh, five days. Latest modeling takes this on off towards the west. There's some of these models want to turn it more towards the uh, northwest, west and northwest. So this is very early, but uh, maybe some indications that uh, this won't head to the Gulf of Mexico. At least that's what I'm hoping. Otherwise, as we take a look at uh, our forecast for tonight, it looks quiet, but this front is going to be easing back towards the north overnight. And late tomorrow, once we hit the convective temperature, we should start to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. So we'll go to about a 30, maybe 40% coverage in the triangle, but it's not all day. Not much up in the lakes area if this particular model is correct. Otherwise, partly cloudy skies are expected. On the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow, looking at slightly good boating conditions, slightly uh, choppy seas on the Gulf, around one to two feet. We'll see south winds at 5 to 10 knots, water temperature 85. High tide at Sabine Pass, 1 in the morning at 5.30 a.m. So our forecast, mostly clear, warmer. We've got southerly winds. The humidity is starting to come up, so that helps keep temperatures up. Lower 70s lakes, mid-70s triangle. Tomorrow, a 30, could be a 40% coverage in the triangle, 20% coverage in the lake. South winds, oh yeah, we haven't had much of a heat index here lately. Well, how about... 100 up in the lakes and maybe 105, 106 in the triangle tomorrow. Yep, that's what that humidity does when it interacts with highs in the lower 90s. Otherwise, green bar day on Sunday, 20% coverage. There's a little bit of dry air that filters on in at around 10,000 feet. So that tends to limit uh, shower and thunderstorm activity. After that, we've got south winds at 5 and 10,000 feet, which is good. You've got moisture, which is good. Weak high pressure, instability, 30, 40 percent coverage every day coming up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Look at those highs, 93, maybe up in the lakes, 94. And then as we head towards Thursday of next week, more of the same, maybe a little reduction coming up on Friday. High pressure may try to strengthen a bit. Regardless, it does look like near normal rain chances and uh, near normal temperatures for this time of year. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.